There's his girlfriend. There it is, midday update. I don't know I got the report right now. I'm Greg Hackney, and uh, I'm gonna talk to you about how I select between a, a rodent and a rage bug are by far my two favorite plastics to fish. And uh, the reason that I would pick one over the other, typically in a situation where maybe the water's a little cooler, uh, the water's cleaner, a uh, real clear situation, I would choose the rodent because it has such a great profile, it doesn't have a lot of action. So in situations where I feel like fish are maybe not so aggressive, like, you know, to bite, uh, deeper water situations, and I'm fixing to explain that in a minute. You know, it falls a little faster. Uh, it goes through grass really easy because the way the appendages lay back on it. Uh, but again, the main thing about it is it has a profile that fish bite. Uh, it's probably the best crawfish imitator that striking makes. Uh, it probably does a better job of representing a crawfish over a jig, honestly, because of the profile and the appendages on it. Um, Second, but definitely not least, is a rage bug. The situations that I choose it in, fish are more aggressive, the water's dirtier, it puts out so much action, uh, it has a lot slower rate of fall because it's drawing so much water because of the appendages. Um, it's like that spawning time, it, later on I can swim it. One of the coolest things for me to do is to figure out what mood fish are in, I can pitch the cover with it and then reel it out. So it's almost like a swim jig and a flipping jig. You know what I mean? Like you get, it's the best of both worlds. Uh, but typically I use it in dirtier water situations. Fish are more aggressive. They want to chase. Like a lot of times you'll notice in situations when you pitch into somewhere and you pull your bait out and one's chasing it. And the first thing goes for you, mind, oh, I'm not leaving it there long enough. That's not necessarily the reason. A lot of times they want to chase. They just, they don't want to hit something on the bottom. They don't see it because they're not looking on the bottom. A lot of times when they're looking up, so that rage book hangs a lot more. I can swim it. Uh, it has such a great profile. Anytime during warmer months of the year, typically it's my number one go-to choice just because it catches active nice. fish and uh, it's got a great profile, be my number one pick. A rodent is probably still my favorite plastic Please that Strike King makes. I've caught so many eight to 10 pounders on it. It's such a great big fish lure in a situation where I get around, because big fish typically, that size fish moves slower. They're harder to catch. They see better, they got big eyes. And that great profile with not a lot of action seems to work better on them, but uh, in cooler water situations and cleaner water. So the big thing is a lot of times when I'm flipping plastic deep, like flipping deep grass, and I'm not talking about mats, I'm talking about like standing hydrilla, standing coontail, millfoil, and deeper water, that rodent has a high rate of speed. And a lot of times when those fish are suspended in that stuff, I can get them to bite that rodent a lot better because it just rockets through there. So in a situation where I would need a one ounce jig to get a fast rate of fall, I can put a 3 8 ounce slip sinker on a rodent and it will fall on the same line as fast as a one ounce jig because it, there's nothing dragging it back. But if I put a rage bug on that exact same weight, on a 3 8 ounce, it falls slow. The legs draw so much water, the rage appendages draw so much water. Uh, rodent doesn't have that. So fast rate of speed, fall, clear water, deeper grass, those are just the situations when I like the rodent. And the other deal is I like it in colder water when fish are getting a good look at it. Again, it, it's a great profile, no action. So typically for me on colors, I do carry a lot of colors, but not year around. Different seasons, different colors, and I'll tell you the reason. Of course, green pumpkin and black and blue, if you didn't know any other colors. But warmer water situations, I lead towards colors with more metal flake, and I'll tell you why. Fish are aggressive, I want more flash. Colder water, duller colors. So I typically stay duller colors when it's colder and bright flashier colors like I might go to a watermelon candy in the summertime because it's got a lot of purple and green and red flake in it because fish are aggressive and they see that flash and I, I feel like when their metabolism is sped up, I, I, I want them to get them to react more. Colder water, they're slower, they're not moving as fast. I like something more natural, seems to appeal to them more. That's just my opinion. Dark water, dark colors. Brown water, I like green pumpkin. Green water, summer crawl. 
because it's green. I just try to match the watercolor, and I'll tell you the big reason for that. I think fish are used to seeing things that look natural in the water, and most things that they feed on are trying to hide. Now, I'm not saying, in you know, want to bite a white jig and anything, but more times than not, I, I start with something natural that matches the watercolor, and I go from there. Now, in that situation, if you catch one, it's got a goggle on its throat, or a bluegill, or a crawfish, then we'll start to dial in the exact color, because we know what they're feeding on. But at first, all we have to go on is the watercolor. It's the current condition of the water, so we just try to use a bait that matches the current conditions of the water, and then we go from there. Now, of course, that you know, if you're fishing dark water on a dark day, I'll probably lean more to a June bug or a black and blue or a black neon, something that, but again, colors that match that black tannic water, those dark colors like that. If the sun's shining, maybe I use a green pumpkin. You know what I mean? Like you might tweak the color a little bit because it's different when the sun's shining. A lot of times I'll start off in the morning pitching a black and blue and I've not caught a fish in practice on it, but I just know they see black really well, you know, or black neon. Uh, but it can be a situation where it's dark and, and it's, dark, it's clean, dark water, and I start off with black neon. Then when the sun gets high, that water is still dark, I go to California Crawl. Because then it's watermelon red and black neon. Just change it up a little bit, make it look more natural. And a lot of times, just it looking good in the water, I'm going to catch them on it because I feel good about it. It's in my head. I'll fish it in the right way to get a bite. If you put something on you don't have any confidence in, I don't care. You're not going to catch them on it. you got to have something that you feel good about, and you'll put that right motion in to get bit.